doing it the other way is a voltage lock not an undervolt they're two different things a voltage lock and an undervolt are not the same so how, i don't even know how i'm gonna start this off undervolting 101 we're gonna be using afterburner okay now the goal of an undervolt is to draw much less power and not lose very much fps right let me turn down the music just a bit and the reason why or the, the original reason why i wanted to do this was because uh or for example an itx build where you don't have very much radiator space you gotta stop the power limit yeah stop that thing from pulling 500 watts it'll just overheat and throttle itself right undervolting works for everything cpus gpus not ram kind of ram ram has like a threshold right undervolting works for everything dude let's see the fps difference here between an undervolt and an overvolt not an overvolt but a max right i just want to find a spot that i can just look straight on here we go oh my mouse sensitivity is not there oh this feels so different than apex okay so let's look here okay this is the what profile are we on here I hope it doesn't crash Warzone now. It shouldn't. We're on profile one. So we're this is 1.1 volt. Max power right now. Please don't crash. Oh, nice. It's not. Okay. So it's pulling. Oh, 250. We're at 1080p, I think. Let's go 4K. So in 4K in this spot, it's pulling 380 watts in 4k all right now let's just try the undervolt profile 380 watts undervolt profile number two apply now we're at one volt oh shit i didn't check the fps i forgot to check the fps so we're saving 50 watts in 4k right from 380 to 330 now so we're saving 50 watts right 264 fps this is also 4k keep in mind right so 265 fps let's go back to profile one 265 fps 265 was it 269 three four fps so is it really worth trading 50 watts for four fps right do you see where we're going with that now with the undervolting thing so oh i didn't even know you could do a fucking hot keys and afterburner that's cool oh that's how some of those guys get those scores in fucking 3d mark oh my god dude i gotta get on that shit but but watch this now okay um let's try 1440p right 133 1440p apply okay so this is profile one 315 watts 372 fps three it's kind of fluctuating a bit more we'll see because i think now we're cpu bound right yeah anywhere from 360 to 370 we'll say okay at 310 watts now let's run profile two three sixty to three seventy and we're still pulling forty watts less fifty watts less 
so at 1440p so in this scenario at 1440p there's zero reason not to undervolt like why would you shove more voltage into your graphics card when the fps is the same there's no difference because we're cpu bound right you can tell that the graphics card um i can't show you on my screen but the, if you look at the percentage beside gpu it goes between 93 percent and 96 percent right that means the gpu isn't at 100 percent load right so even in 4k though it's still only five percent so essentially what you're doing and this is why this is why ampere cards dev error in the first place right so i'll show you how to do that after this i'll show you how so this is the voltage frequency curve of let's say a 3090 right goes like this goes like this goes like oh no it kind of goes like this actually oh shit kind of goes like this kind of levels off and then dips right so this is your let's say this is your one volt right this is your 1.1 volt it's still a little higher but this is like 250 watts this is 300 watts right so you can already see where that and you can go even further than that you can go down here right this is 0 0.95 volts right this is 200 watts and it's, then, then it, it keeps going right you're like and then it's like a never ending it's like a never end that's how silicon ele electricity works right it's like a never ending kind of loop and then you're like if I just keep lowering the damn voltage I just keep drawing less and less power and the FPS doesn't really change and it just keeps going do you know what I'm saying it's crazy that way so that's why undervolting is so cool right and if I'm playing daily I use this if I'm doing benchmarks for YouTube I do this one because the extra five fps is, is like mind-blowing to fucking eight-year-olds on youtube and warzone fps right so that's what so if i if you ever see me playing warzone or apex or any game i'm using the one volt always dude i don't need to be pulling an extra 50 watts for zero fps i don't give a shit but if i'm benchmarking on youtube i'm using this one right i'm going for the max clocks right or if i'm benching in 4k right catching up catching up that my bin you probably okay for anyone on youtube that watches this after you probably won't be able to get the same frequencies that i get at one volt this 3090 is like a god bin dude it is insane how well binned this 3090 is so you might have you might even have to go down to like 1950 megahertz you never know right I have some really bad bin. I have a really good bin 3090, right? Um, yeah, undervolting is awesome, dude. Here's how you do it. Here's the fastest way how you do it, okay? Okay. Here's the fastest way to do it. Just play the game. But here's a caveat to just playing the game. Use the slider first. Don't use the graph. Use the slider. So let's say... We're going to put this to 2200. Let's say you're at plus 180 and this is stable. Okay. Let's say that's stable. Then you go to 195 because 15 increments, right? That one's not stable. Go back to 180. See what the graph shows at one volt down here and move up and down 15 volts from here. Uh, 15 uh, megahertz from here and keep playing until you find it stable that's what i would do or any part in the graph here so start here you can go up by like 30 megahertz increments so like go to 30 play a game 
Oh, the game went without a hitch. It's all good. Go to 60. Play a game. Oh, yeah, it's all good. No problem. Without a hitch. Go to 90. Oh, it crashed at 90. Okay, well, let's see what it's at. 1 volt, 20, 40. Okay. Then what you have to actually do to, to engage the undervolt, you have to move all of these dots down to the bottom. One at a time. All of them. All the way down to the voltage you want to do. So we're going to go all the way to one volt. Uh, uh. Oh my god, it's tedious as fuck. Got to move them all, move them all. Some people will tell you that you don't have to move these ones. I do anyway, because sometimes you'll load afterburner again and it'll like fuck your graph up if you don't move them down. Okay, all the way down to one volt. Okay, this is your one volt under volt now. It will never go over one volt because this is the highest part of the graph, okay? Uh... How do you how do you move them all, White Ren? Can you select multiples? The reason why you don't want to do this, the reason why you don't want to do that, is because if you happen to hit the power limit, you're gonna jump all the way down here. Watch, watch what happens. Fucking brain scientists in the chat today. Watch what happens. God fucking damn it, dude. Why do I listen to Twitch chat? I always think that someone might have some knowledge or they might know something and they're always just fucking wrong, dude. And that's why I get so triggered about that shit. Everyone's just a fucking idiot. It's wrong. Wrong. Okay. What's going to happen if you're going to hit your power limit? Let's just fucking see what happens. Oh my God, we're at 1400 megahertz. Do you really want 1400 megahertz at 968? Do, do you really want 1400 megahertz in case you hit a power limit? No, you don't. This is why you do it my way there save this as profile three now what do you think's gonna happen when you hit the power limit what do you think's gonna happen my finger actually hurts from doing that's a little sore 300 megahertz more than the other method that it was told 300 megahertz more. <sighs> God fucking damn it. Never listen to Twitch yet. Never listen. Yes, it will stop at one volt, but in case you hit a power limit by accident, say in the example of this OCCT, we're hitting a power limit here. So it's, it's going all the way down to 850. If you do it this other fucking crazy ass way, what's this fucking crazy shit? What, what the fuck is this? Like, what is this? This is a voltage lock, not an undervolt. Anyway, do whatever method you want to do. That's how I do it. I wish you well. I wish you luck. Wonder me ho, my man. Wonder me ho. That's how you undervolt. So do this first. Find the maximum slider where it's stable. Right? Find the maximum number where it's stable. Once you've found that number, press Control F. Find the voltage that you want to undervolt it to or test it out based on the power draw, right? And move that one up or down. Remove all the ones to the right of that one below it to the bottom. Move that one up or down based on where it's stable. And there's your undervolt. Simple as that. I hope that answered that question. Fucking took me an hour to fucking explain that, dude. Do 
You can click and drag selected multiple. How? Hang on, Wonder Me. He'll give you a button in a second. I can't select them. Oh. You know what's weird? I've tried that before and I could never get it to work. Oh, that's handy. Holy shit, dude. Okay. Okay, but come on. The one time something okay but that's not okay that that's a perfect example of okay do you remember how i was saying earlier <clears throat> it's not twitch chat redemption do you remember how i was saying earlier maybe 10 percent of the internet population are fucking idiots so you can't really go out of your way to find the people that aren't idiots right so it took 10 different people to tell me that one was a good suggestion. It's a huge waste of time to even bother listening because nine times out of 10, it would have been wrong, right? It's the same with anything. So I just happened to 10. That's pretty fucking cool though. That's a huge time saver. This, this accomplishes the same thing. So how did I even do that? You have to click. How do I unclick it? oh okay so you just press shift hold it and drag the ones that you want to select okay there we go yeah there we go uh, so press shift hold it select all the ones to the right of the voltage that you want to move those to the bottom oh. there you go move those to the bottom this is now your undervolt move this up or down until it crashes or until it's stable there you go there you go that's a really that's, that's a huge time saver thanks undamaged